Hey, welcome back everyone, Toysh is here, and I'm back yet again with yet another Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles video, and today comes courtesy of my friends over at Playmates Toys. It's been about eight months since Wave 1, but today we finally have a look at Wave 2, featuring Michelangelo versus Dustin, and I really do like the packaging that they got going on with this. It's very reminiscent of other companies' packaging, just FYI. But I like that you can flip it. At least it has the elements of the show of Stranger Things. And yes, these are definitely the 80s Mirage versions of said Turtles. And here's the barcode as well. They're starting to hit Target store shelves now. Likewise with Donatello versus Lucas. You always got to get the verses in there. Anytime you had a two-pack, at least just how I was raised, they're always fighting each other and then they end up friends in the end. Here's the barcode for Donnie and Lucas as well. And like I said, if you want them, they are starting to hit Target store shelves. So this is going to be fun. Hopefully. Sit back, relax, grab yourself a nice hot cup of coffee. This is a look at the brand new Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles vs. Stranger Things Wave 2 by Playmates Toys. And while I got all you Demogorgons here, I just want to say thanks so much for always checking out my YouTube videos. Now, if you haven't already, please do consider subscribing. Old toys, new toys, daily news updates. I guarantee you'll find something here that you like. What a wild mashup, right? TMNT and Stranger Things. But of course, here's all four figures taken out of their two packages. <laughs> hey, the turtles... Turtles are good, right? I mean, come on, just uh, just bear with me here. So the first two pack, we'll start it off with Dustin and Mikey. Dustin comes with basically the hammer weapon, which kind of reminds me totally of Homer Simpson's invention episode, right? Where he puts the motor on the hammer. It's nicely painted. That's good to see. You also get, well, basically a spray paint can. It's all white. There's not much to it. And then you get a solid black walkie-talkie, which we saw with all of Wave 1's offerings. Dustin himself, this, this is, I mean, it's very toyish, right? That's really all I got. It is painted nicely. All the decals are applied nicely. It says Camp Nowhere on his hat. So that works. But uh, there's not much to these figures. You know what I mean? Well, they're just saying the, the Stranger Things figures they're very cartoony they're not very appealing i'll be honest with you they're just kind of like okay cool mashup netflix playmates toys tmnt i see what you're doing you're mashing up everything everybody's mashing up everything these days but they ain't really much to write home about to be quite honest with you so i'll tell you right now as we'll soon see the turtles a-okay right those are great the stranger things aspects doesn't really work. I would have liked to have seen Stranger Things and Ghostbusters, to be honest with you. Ninja Turtles doesn't really seem to work, right? But with Mikey's accessories, you get the same waffle throwing star. I like that. That's totally goofy. I appreciate the little combination there. And then you get a uh, 80s Walkman, which is totally fine. You really have to get it on there. Big old turtle heads to fit. And then on the back side of the Walkman, you got the area for their hands to hold it. So it's just okay. But Mikey this time around, again, it's the same body. He's got nunchucks with real chains, so I definitely appreciate that. Peg holes on his big clawed hopper feet. These are every bit the Mirage Turtles. And it's nice to have some iteration of the Mirage comics represented in just toy form. NECA Toys does collectible high-end figures. It's okay to just do toys, and these are exactly what they are, but they're kind of being sold at a much higher price, whereas these should just be toys. They have great articulation for what they are. It's very nice to see. They're very sturdy. I would say the only problem being that there's one weapon holding hand, and then there's one Walkman holding hand, so a lot of times the wider gripped hand tends to drop their weapons. Raph and Donatello seem to be the only ones that fit perfectly all the time. Leo and Mikey will drop their weapons, essentially. It's fine. It looks great. But I will tell you this. I think they missed the mark on the head right here for Mikey. I think that if you swap the heads between Raphael and Michelangelo, then you'd be solid. I think that's a much better head portrait for old Mikey, especially in the Mirage sense. Now with Lucas, he comes with a pair of binoculars. It's flat green plastic, sculpted nice. They did paint the underside black for the lenses, which 
at least it's got that going on. They didn't paint the top part, but I really wish they would have. Otherwise, it's just, yeah, it's okay. You get a all blue plastic backpack. Not much going on there. No paint whatsoever. And then you get the slingshot. It's got a bit of uh, yellow paint right there. This is probably the best accessory out of all of them. As far as Lucas is concerned, because then his other accessory is just a flat black walkie-talkie that all the other characters have come with. If I was the actor who played Lucas, I probably would have contacted my agent and said, who approved this likeness? <laughs> this is not it, Playmates Toys. This this is a solid no. This, this does not work. It's a very cartoony, much like Dustin, right? If they're kind of going for that, then they've nailed it. But no, it just does not work. The paint is fine. The articulation... Same thing as Dustin. It's really what I mean. The turtles work. The Stranger Things figures are kind of afterthoughts. You know what I mean? And it totally looks like they are because these head portraits are just not doing it. However, with Donatello, he comes with the exact same accessories. You got the throwing star waffle ninja thing, and then you got the Walkman. So a little bit different accessories would have been fantastic. The actual Donatello figure himself comes with his bow staff, which, of course, you need that for Donnie. It's the exact same figure. It's a different head portrait, which is totally fine. That's usually what every single company does. But I think that what's the big missing thing right here is that they don't have weapon storage of some sort. I think that every single turtle should have that in some way for display options and whatnot. Because otherwise, it's the same body type and everything else. He looks good. But it's the same thing over and over. Now, when it comes to the Stranger Things figures, I think Hopper's a little bit on the short side. For the most part, they all scale together. But I really think that Mike and Will should have replaced Hopper and Eleven. You got the four friends, and then you got the four Turtle Brothers. Otherwise, it doesn't really match at all, right? The Turtles, I'll give it to them. I think that the Turtles are, of course, the best aspect of this. I went ahead and swapped Raphael and Michelangelo's head portrait. That's easily done. I think that that fits a whole heck of a lot better in the context of the turtle's expressions. Raphael's a lot more angry, right? Mikey, not so much, give or take, right? More, more so Raph. But seeing them all together, that's pretty darn cool. I definitely dig it. They have some hiccups here and there, but they're great sculpts nonetheless. And then just to kind of show you scaling, you got Donatello, you got Donatello, Donatello, and you got the new Donatello. So you can see from Playmates to NECA to Super 7. Well, the new Playmates are definitely the tallest of the bunch. But it can kind of sort of go with other companies' figures. Namely, the Triceraton. Again, the Turtles are a little bit too tall to go with everything. But the Triceraton, at least that can kind of sort of work. And if you've been collecting all the weird mashups which I haven't gotten the Street Fighter ones. I don't know if I'm going to be getting those, to be honest with you. But at least here's some Netflix team upage with Cobra Kai and Stranger Things. So if you ever wanted to mash these two up, well, there you go. I've gone ahead and done it for you. Then they all kind of scale whatever. <laughs> it's just weird. It's just weird mashups all the way around. So that is going to wrap it up for my look at the brand new Wave 2 TMNT versus Stranger Things mashup by Playmates Toys. And again, thank you to Playmates for sending these out for the purposes of this video. The Turtles home run. And of course, I would definitely recommend checking out the sculptor Phil Ramirez from the old Toy Biz days. Done lots of different toys. So I'll definitely put his Instagram and info down in the description below. Please do check him out. Like I said, as weird a mashup as this is, the Turtles are largely solid. The Stranger Things are definitely a pass. So overall, unless you really just want them for the Turtles, I'm going to say it's a pass overall until maybe they go on clearance. If Playmates wants to do a box set with all four of these guys or just release them as singles because I know people would buy these, yeah, definitely go that route. So... As always, I'm curious to know what you guys think. Comment below, let me know. Let's talk everything TMNT versus Stranger Things. And I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food. But most importantly, remember, I cannot wait to see what the next mashup is going to be. Gentlemen, ladies, place your bets down in the description below. When they do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.